be showing you how to make snail mail for your pen pal that will make them smile and be happy when they open it up. So giving a little extra spark to whatever snail mail you're used to sending and making a letter a little bit more than just a letter. I will be showing you with a letter that I've written to my own pen pal and I will be demonstrating a variety of different kinds of techniques that you can use both on the inside and outside of the envelope to take your pen pal mail to the next level and make sure that when your pen pal gets it that they're excited and just really happy to be getting something in the mail from you that really brightens up their day and helps with their own self-care and well-being along the way. So let's move on over to the table and get started. The supplies for today are flexible. I'll show you what I'm using and some ideas for you, but you can use whatever you feel like or have on hand. I'll also be giving some tips as I go along about how you can do a technique that I'm doing with fewer supplies. But one absolute that you need is a letter. I've got mine here folded up and ready to go in the envelope. Then you will need the envelope itself. No particular size, shape, or color necessary. At the very least, you'll probably want some colored pens. And I will also be using washi tape, a glue stick, some scraps of paper and pretty things that I'm going to put inside the letter, and rubber stamps. So I'll start by putting my letter in the envelope and start filling it up with things that I think are going to make this fun and special to open up. One thing that's inexpensive and makes a letter really fun to open is adding in some kind of body care sample that you've picked up somewhere or gotten through something else that you bought that your pen pal can use for self-care and make their day a little bit more enjoyable. I'm going to slip this in here. If you're using a sample that you worry might break open, you can put it in a little plastic bag, um, a small Ziploc bag, or just any kind of small plastic wrapping that you have lying around just in case you think that it might saturate your letter in some way. I'm not too worried about this one though. Something that's really fun to add to a letter that I'm going to show you today is an envelope within an envelope. So if you can find some kind of mini envelope like this or make one yourself, then you can put something inside of the envelope, seal it up and stick it inside your bigger envelope. So it makes it especially fun, kind of like when you find a gift card or something in a birthday card, it's always fun to open an extra thing up but you don't have to put money in here to make it special. I'm going to be writing something else on a separate piece of paper and putting it in the envelope. This is going to be a quote on a piece of paper. We like to do this to remind each other of our friendship and also to have small things that are meaningful and artistic that we can keep in our wallets or hang up in the bathroom mirror or somewhere similar like that, just so we're surrounded by positive and supportive messages. This is a quote from one of our favorite novels, A Little Life. Now I'd like to decorate the outside of the envelope because it's always fun to have more colors and things going on inside of the pen pal letter. I'm going to seal this up with washi tape. Washi tape is a really good way of brightening up an envelope and making it look exciting and chic without having to buy an expensive pre-decorated envelope. I'll also show you how to do a similar technique to what the washi tape does on the seam of an envelope, but without having to have any washi tape at all. Now we'll turn to our colored pens and do the washi tape technique but with pens across the seam. And what you do is you draw your shapes over the seam of the envelope as though they were stamped on there. So you can choose any doodling motif or technique. I often do a seasonal one or something that's relevant to the time of year. Since I've been doing hearts so far on this one, I think I'm gonna stick with that. So we'll now work on decorating the front of the envelope. I'm going to write in 
my pen pal's name. Just have a marker of where the address is going to go, but I'm not going to write it on here yet. So I'm going to decorate this one, leaving a lot of room for an international address with something that looks kind of like a gift label or a tag. But where I write the address, I think it's fun to make that part of the envelope stand out, and it's probably fun for the postman as well. And I'll add a string to this. And it's fun to wrap your drawing around to the other side of the envelope as well. And now to brighten it up just a little bit more, I'm going to get out my rubber stamps and have some fun with these. The number one way to make your pen pal mail something that will make your pen pal smile is to show that you've put a lot of thought and care into the physical material object itself. And it doesn't matter how much money you've put into it, how many supplies you have, and what your card or envelope look like on their own but that you've actually, for one, written a letter that is meaningful and has a lot of attention and insight in it and shows that you're having a real deep conversation with your pen pal, but also to make the moment when they open up the mailbox and find the envelope an exciting and special moment. I've got one more thing to stick on the outside. I made a little paper heart out of the scraps from punching these out. So I thought that it'd be really cute to stick on the envelope itself. I hope that you've enjoyed making pen pal art with me. And regardless of what you choose to put in or outside of the envelope, as long as you're doing it with intention, care, and detail, that is all that matters. Please remember to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and if you do pen pal letters yourself or would like to start doing them in the future. And please comment below with any suggestions or requests for future videos and let me know if you want to see more pen pal art in the future. Thank you so much for joining me and I can't wait to see you next week and look forward to new videos every Monday by subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications for every video. Bye!